First reading, Acts chapter 9 verse 1 to 22. Meanwhile, Saul was still breathing threats to slaughter the Lord's disciples. He went to the high priest and asked for letters addressed to the synagogues in Damascus that would authorize him to arrest and take to Jerusalem any followers of the way, men or women, that he might find. It happened that while he was traveling to Damascus and approaching the city, suddenly a light from heaven shone all round him, he fell to the ground, and then he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me, who are you, Lord, he asked, and the answer came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men traveling with Saul stood there speechless, for though they heard the voice, they could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing at all, and they had to lead him into Damascus by the hand. For three days he was without his sight and took neither food nor drink. There was a disciple in Damascus called Ananias. And he had a vision in which the Lord said to him, Ananias. When he replied, Here I am, Lord, the Lord said, Get up and go to Straight Street and ask at the house of Judas for someone called Saul, who comes from Tarsus. At this moment he is praying, and has seen a man called Ananias coming in and laying hands on him to give him back his sight. But in response, Ananias said, Lord, I have heard from many people about this man and all the harm he has been doing to your holy people in Jerusalem. He has come here with a warrant from the chief priests to arrest everybody who invokes your name. The Lord replied, Go, for this man is my chosen instrument to bring my name before Gentiles and kings and before the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Then Ananias went. He entered the house and laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, I have been sent by the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on your way here, so that you may recover your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. It was as though scales fell away from his eyes, and immediately he was able to see again. So he got up and was baptized, and after taking some food he regained his strength. After he had spent only a few days with the disciples in Damascus, he began preaching in the synagogues, Jesus is the Son of God. All his hearers were amazed and said, Surely, this is the man who did such damage in Jerusalem to the people who invoke this name and who came here for the sole purpose of arresting them to have them tried by the chief priests. Saul's power increased steadily and he was able to throw the Jewish colony at Damascus into complete confusion by the way he demonstrated that Jesus was the Christ. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 117 verse 1, 2 Alleluia! Praise Yahweh, all nations, extol Him, all peoples, for His faithful love is strong and His constancy never-ending. Gospel, Mark chapter 16 verse 15 to 18 And he said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, whoever does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils, they will have the gift of tongues, they will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick, who will recover.